Hey everyone, my name is SK and today we will do another Q&A video for Medieval Dynasty. So thanks for the questions that you sent in. Uh, and without further ado, let's get straight into this and let's go. Let's start this time with two questions from Christopher Kellerman. He is asking, how can I get animals to my farm? Um, animals can be bought um, on various places on the map. Via the management interface, you can assign animals to stables that you own as well. So first you need to buy stables. You can um, place them then on your new village, on your new settlement and ground. And then you can assign the animals that you bought to the stables. But will a trader come from time to time to sell and buy things from our town? So basically you always have vendors in almost each village. This means you can always buy stuff and sell your stuff at those vendors. Also you can sell and buy stuff in the taverns, in the towns and villages. And to answer your question, yes, we would also like to uh, add a traveling vendor that will come and go from time to time. Next question is from Kevin Cooper from Twitter. Will we be able to micromanage jobs and tasks through our villages? And how will villager recruitment work? Um, once people follow you uh, and move into your community, you can assign tasks to them. Depending on their skills, you should decide wisely who should cut trees, work on the fields or hunt, for example. Uh, nearly everything can be done by your people. The bigger the community grows, the more workers you can handle. Brando from Twitter asks, are there any plans for a fleshed out character creation system down the line? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have plans for that right now. Maybe something later. Next question is from Charlie Nicholas Daryl from Facebook. Will the game come out in French? So right now you can play Medieval Dynasty in four languages. This is English, German, Polish and also Spanish. And we will also uh, add some new languages that are French, Russian, Simplified Chinese, Turkish, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese and Japanese, also Ukrainian and Italian. Um, also, we want to add some more languages in the future and once any language is added, we will let you know. And finally, two questions from Crixen from Steam. Uh, will you add Steam workshop support? Um, unfortunately, no plans for that right now, maybe later. And are you going to add Steam achievements? Uh, yes, of course, we will add achievements and trading cards soon during early access. With these questions, we are already ending our third Q&A video. Thank you for all your questions that you sent us so far. If your questions didn't get answered in this video, you can also check our previous Q&A videos. And if you still didn't find an answer to your question, don't worry. You can always ask us anything on our Facebook, Discord, Instagram, Twitter and also Steam accounts and profiles. Thank you so much for watching guys. Subscribe to our channels and speak to you soon. Stay healthy, peace out and bye bye.